Hey, what's up you guys? It's Tyler and today I'm back with another crazy customer story time. Except this time, I have multiple. And this all happened yesterday. This all happened one day. It was a Sunday. It was I was literally only working for like four hours. We closed at 7.30 instead of 9. So we closed early. If you don't know where I work. That's where I work. Um, anyways. <sighs> There's nothing insane. If you want to see insane stuff, go look back at my playlist on crazy customers but this is just multiple just like annoying people like do you not have any like common sense like why are you doing this anyways one is just like an annoying man second is an annoying man but he complained to my manager about me <laughs> we'll get into that it's god um the third one is another annoying man they're all annoying men it's women's month Wait, why are men doing this? Men, y'all need to stop. Give me one month to just like chill. Y'all, I'm sorry, there's a crow. Um, where is it? Where, hello? It's like watching me. That's kind of weird. Um, anyways, first story time. This annoying man, I was on register because I was doing backup. If you don't know, I work in pet care, so I like sell animals. And take care of animals and just like work on the floor in general um but i'm on register checking this guy out and he's like he has these two boxes of dog pee pads and they're 40 50 pounds if you don't want to listen to numbers like skip ahead 10 seconds skip ahead go ahead go ahead i'm not even 100 pounds why do you think anyways that was just like background info like i cannot lift that I cannot. I'm sorry. I can't lift it. Anyways, the hand scanner doesn't work, so I have to physically type in the numbers that are on the barcode. Um, and he had two of them, and he was like, oh, I heard these were buy one, get one half off from, from somebody. Or like, he was like, somebody told me these were buy one, get one half off. And I was like, okay, we can check that for you. So I had to type in the numbers, because I kind of scan it, so it took a minute, and I was being like awkward. Not awkward but you know I have to like type in the numbers like look at like four numbers and then go back to my little computer and like type it in and like go back to the other numbers go and type it in like until I got like the whole barcode <laughs> um our store is broken none of the hand scanners work none of them one of them does but then like the scanner that's like on the register that one doesn't work so you literally have to physically scan everything which is so aggravating <laughs> I'm sorry it's really annoying um but anyways i was like okay well these aren't ringing up as buy one get one half off because i typed them in and like hit two for quantity um and i was like on the radio because we have radios where we can talk to like everybody that works there and i was like hey um are these dog pee pads buy one get one half off because somebody somebody told him that they were buy one get one half off so i was like okay somebody's definitely gonna be like yeah just change the price and i was like yeah let me just ask and it'll be easy and nobody responds to me not one person and i'm like that's weird let me ask again I'm like hey guys um there's somebody that's saying these pee pads or buy one get one half off like does anybody know anything about that and then some person finally goes and like checks it and they're like no they aren't and i'm like who told this man they were buy one get one half off and i was like excuse me um these actually aren't on sale. They might, there is like a smaller size on sale, but this 40, 50 pound bag of freaking dog pads, which, why do you need 40, 50 pounds of dog pads? I don't understand. Does your dog pee that much? Why do they not? I guess I get it if you don't live in like a house or you have like an old dog, but like, what? You need that many pee pads? Two boxes? I don't know. Anyways, I tell him that, and he's like, oh, well, my friend gets them here all the time, and he's telling me he's on sale. They're on sale. And he's on the phone with this guy. Like, talking to this guy. And I'm like, oh, I thought you meant, like, a worker told you that they were on sale. Like, obviously. Why would you be like, oh, somebody told me they were on sale. And it's, like, your friend. Why would you tell me that? Am I wrong to assume that you were talking about a worker? Like, I don't understand. Um... I really, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, 
Um, but I was like, oh, I thought you meant like a worker. And he was like, no, my friend gets them here all the time. And I was like, okay, well, just by the way, our sales end every month. We take, we physically, I physically take down the freaking tags every month. Every Sunday that they get taken down, I take them down, okay? I know the sales. I don't know the sales, but I take them down. And I know when they end. Um, are you going to park right next to me? Literally, there's a whole parking lot and they had to park right next to me. There's nobody here. That's so weird. Anyways, um, I don't even know what I was saying. I was like, oh, the sales end. And he was like, well, that's not fair that my, my friend gets it. Can I just use his phone number? Because you have to like sign up and be a member to get the sales. By the way, when we ask you to sign up, please do it. Because we get in trouble if we don't get people to sign up. Like, we we get in trouble, okay? So please just sign up. Like, I swear it's not that hard. We're not going to steal your information. You can literally tell us to, like, turn emails and text off. Like, if you, if you think we're nice people, please just sign up. If we're mean, don't sign up because, you know, whatever. But, like, I swear, please just sign up. <laughs> it helps us a lot. Um, but anyways, I was like, that's not how sales work. Like, if you get a coupon, how do y'all say coupon? Do you say, I don't even know. Um, you like get a receipt and it'll have like a coupon up at the front, at like the top sometimes. Like one in four people like get a coupon or something. Um, but that's like random. Um, and I was like, oh, that's not how the sales work. Like they aren't different for every phone number and he was like okay well I don't understand like why can't you do that and I was like they aren't on sale like I can't make them go on sale like we had sales that ended um last week so that was probably what was on sale like I can't make the sale happen right now the sale is over there is no tag that says there's a sale I have confirmed it with people like there's no sale going on like I can't do that for you Anyways, that happened and he was like, okay, well, I'm just going to get one. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So then I turn the quantity to one and check him out, give him the receipt. And he's like, oh, I'm going to leave this box here for you. And he puts it on the belt, this moving belt. Keep in mind, there's a line of, there's a line of people behind him, like waiting to get checked out. And he puts it on the belt and it starts moving towards me and it gets stuck because it won't fit like to get out of the belt. You know, I don't I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. But anyways, he puts it on the belt and I'm like, oh, actually, can you put it over here? Like behind me, there's like a shelf where you can put things. Because I can't lift a freaking box. It's 50 pounds. I can't lift it up. I was like, oh, can you actually put that over here? And he's like, no, um, I think you can pick it up. And I was like, okay. Like, I made it obvious that I was pissed off. I was like, okay. Okay. That's what I did. Just once. Not a million times. <laughs> um, and he was like, you're young, you're strong, you can do it. And I was like, okay. Okay. And there's this line of people behind him. And I'm like, yo, you really just fucking left me this box? This 50 pound box? I can't pick it up. I'm five foot three. Like, what do you want me to do? You want me to pick up this fucking box? I don't understand. Um, but anyways. I was like talking on the radio and I was like, oh my god, this guy just left this freaking deep brown thing up. Whatever. And I was like struggling to pick it up so bad. I like genuinely hurt myself. I had to like lean it on my body and I was walking like, Ugh! like trying to get it over to the, like the shelf that was by me. Like, girl, why would you do that? Like, you had to physically lift it up and put it on this moving belt. Why did you think that that was a good idea? And then you're going to act like you can't pick it up. Like, you already picked it up. You had no issue. You had no issue picking it up and putting it on my belt. You're going to stop the line. Now I can't check anybody else out. And I have to pick up this fucking box that you left on the belt. And put it in my little shelf area. Anyways, that was that. That was just an annoying annoying dude that pissed me off because it's like really really i don't understand why why do you do that why do you do that to me um 
and then the second guy. This was a while. A while later? Maybe like an hour or two hours? Probably two hours after. Um, I was getting ready to close my department down, like feed the animals and stuff. And he was like looking at fish and I was like, can I help you with anything? Because he was looking at me like... And then he kept looking away, he was like... Like this old man, like doing really weird like faces. And I was like, can I help you with anything? I was like, yeah, I wanted to get two um, angel fish. And I was like, okay, what size tank do you have? And he was like, he like said something under his breath and I thought he said 10 gallon. And I was like, did you say a 10 gallon? And he was like, no, I don't need to tell you what size tank I have. And I was like, actually, I do have to ask. Like, that is part of my job. And he was like, no, I don't understand why I have to tell you this information. And I was like, actually, I have to ask. I just need to know like the basic information of your tank before I can like sell, sell you a fish. He was like, this is the second time you've done this to me. Like, he comes at me, like, directly. Like, this is the second time you've done this to me. First of all, I do this to everybody. Unless you're getting ghost shrimp. Like, I ask. Or snails. Yeah. Like, I ask about your tank. I ask about, like, a million freaking questions. I do it to everybody. It's not just you. Okay? It's part of my job. I literally have to do it. So, anyways, he started walking away and I was like, okay. And he was like, you know what? I'm really tired of this happening here. And I was like, I'm really sorry. Like, it, it is a part of my job. Like, I, I literally have to ask these questions. And he's like, whatever. I'm not getting fish. And just so you know, I do have a 50-gallon tank. And I was like, okay. Like, if he would have told me that, I would have sold him fish. But he walked away with no fish. Like, y'all are so stupid. When I say y'all, I mean him. But, like, dude, if you would have just told me basic information, like, why are you scared to tell me about your fish tank? If you're properly taking care of your fish tank, then don't, you wouldn't be hiding your information. Like, of course you're going to lie to me because you don't actually have, like, a nice setup for your fish. Just saying. Um, anyways. <laughs> I told, like, on the radio, I was like, this guy just, like... Did something really weird i asked him what size tank he had and he started getting mad and then he walked away and then i don't even know if anybody responded but it was just like weird um anyways my manager calls me to the office he's like hey are you if you're not busy can you come over here and i was like yeah i'll be there and then i walk over there and he's like so tell me more about this fish guy because he just called in and i was like Oh, of course he did. Of course he called in. This was probably 20 minutes after it happened. And he told my manager that I refused to sell him fish. Anyways, that happened. My manager trusted me because, I don't know. I don't deny fish sales. Like, you really can't deny fish sales. Even if they're going to, like, a really bad home. Now, if they're going to die right away... You can deny it, but the majority of the time we cannot deny animal sales. Like, I'm not, I don't deny animal sales. I will try and persuade someone very, very, like, harshly. Not harshly, but just, like, really trying to persuade somebody, like, to properly take care of their animals. Um, but I can't deny, like, a, a fish sale, you know? Um, and he was like, yeah, I, kn I know you want to do that. Why is everybody parking here there's like a party going on like right now <laughs> anyways that happened it's weird anyways my last story this is very short i left the most boring one for last because it it, it was just weird <laughs> like i don't really know anyways i was at the podium i don't know what i was doing but i was just like i don't know no i went in the back to like wash dishes um, and I saw him, like, looking in, like, the window, because we have the, the window at the door, and then there's a sink right there, so you can look out the window and, like, see people and stuff. And I saw him, like, looking in the window and, like, being, like, why is everybody, like, doing this, like, looking away, looking back thing? Like, it's really weird. But I was like, okay, this guy needs help. So, like, I finished my dishes, and he's, like, walking, like, pacing around in circles, and then when I come out and I go to the podium, he comes at me and he starts like looking at me. He's on the phone, but he's like, and I'm like, can I help you with anything? And he's like, shh.
like, what? Why are you staring at me, coming directly towards me, pacing around my work area? And then when I ask you if you need help, you're gonna be, shh. What is wrong with you? For real, what is wrong with you? I don't know. But anyways, I thought that was weird. Cause he looked like he needed help. Cause he was like looking at me and like pacing around. And he like came directly towards me as soon as I left like the back area. Like he came right at me, looking at me straight in my face. Like if you're gonna walk towards somebody looking directly at them, do you think I'm just gonna ignore you and like walk past you? No, it's my job to literally ask if you need help with anything. Why are you gonna shush me? Like it was, it was so rude. And he didn't even buy anything. He literally stood in like my work area for at least 15 minutes. He wasn't looking at anything. He was pacing around on his phone, just talking. Why are you, why are you doing this? In my little, my tiny workspace, that is my space. You're gonna be chilling here, like screaming on the phone after you told me to shh. So now I feel weird. I like go walk around the store somewhere else but anyways that was just weird i thought that was kind of weird but anyways that's it i'm gonna go i have to go to work shortly um i'll see y'all next week also i'm filming this a day two days after i filmed no one day i filmed yesterday that video went up last week so if you're wondering why i still have nail polish on it's because i filmed that yesterday I'm probably going to scratch it all off tonight. I didn't have time to last night, but I can't have nail polish on my hands. It makes me, cause it's chipping. Like it, it doesn't look good. Like when you first do it, it's okay. But then it really makes me mad. But anyways, I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.